The Board of Selectmen got an update on the Charter Review Committee. The chair of the committee, Pam Waxlax, gave a summary of the proposed changes to the Charter. The editorial changes seek to make the Charter more concise and maneuverable. The table of contents of the draft Charter highlight the changes of this nature from moving sections between articles so items of similar nature are now grouped together. In addition, the table of contents lists the sections from the original Charter that have been deleted primarily as they related to the transition upon adoption of the Charter in 2006 or duplicate mass general law or town bylaws. It also adds, shows those that have been added, which include elected boards which were not specified in the original Charter or have been since added, and the incorporation of the DPW Special Acts from 1998, 2006, and 2010. Much of the selectmen discussion was about what to do about the town clerk position. To appoint it. Is there an interview process there? Or does he, because I personally think Connor's done a great job in the short time that he's been here. And I hate to see us lose someone like that who, you know, we as town people voted him in. And I think he's done a great job and he's enthusiastic and he's young and not that I can say that because it does, age doesn't make a difference. but. Um, but if, if this guy wants to work in town for the next 40 years as a town clerk, I'd, I'd like to make sure that he gets a, a, a very more than fair shot if it does get turn into appointed versus elected, that Connor does have a very fair shot of, of maintaining his employment with us. Who's Connor? <laughs> for you, Mr. Chair. Yeah. So uh, the current town clerk i.e. Connor Deegan, would serve out the rest of his term, and he would serve through May of 2019, I believe was what we had correctly figured out. Um, at that point, then the appointing would kick in. It would be this, it would be this board making the appointment? Okay. Yes. Um, and so this board, along with per the personnel committee? In, in accordance with personnel policies at the town. Okay. Would, would write up the job qualifications okay. and it would be this board doing the interviewing and uh, making the final decision. Okay. Objectives, the town manager will help them. If they want to do it on their own, they can do that. So we've tried to make it pretty flexible. Um, in the end, uh, yeah, you know, as, as Pam mentioned, uh, you know, there were a couple of public forums. I think in total there was in the area of 25 to 30 people who showed up at the forums. Um, Quite bluntly, it was pretty clear that they didn't agree with the recommendations for the most part, although they didn't mind the, the budget calendar changes. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, we, uh, I think that the committee, the committee gave a lot of thought to uh, the suggestions. Uh, we did try to incorporate uh, some of the suggestions, uh, but then there were others that are a little bit more black and white, and the committee made recommendations and decisions based on all the information that they've gathered and it still came out to be a unanimous vote. So uh, in the end, all of this goes to special town meeting, and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of discussion, and special town meeting is the ultimate authority in this, and everybody will have their voice, and it'll come out the way the town wants it to. The special town meeting to vote on the charter will take place on Monday, January 30th, starting at 7 p.m. at the Hopkinton Middle School Auditorium.